So welcome to the, the difficult session. Bienvenidos a la sesión difícil. Yeah. But you know, we're on day six, you know. There's only like three more big days to go. Uh, estamos en el día seis. Tenemos tres días grandes completos para que nos falta. You know, so as I, as I was saying, uh, today, tomorrow, uh, can be, you have a strong sort of or something, just like, oh, wow. You know, it's whether it's sort of a, an emotional crisis or an epiphany, it depends a bit on each individual. Ya sea una crisis emocional o una epifanía, depende de cada persona. You know, it's actually, it's, it's what your mind focuses on. Es de hecho en lo que se enfoca tu mente. You know, so it, whatever your, what is sort of like a, a big issue for you, whether it's an internal thing or an external thing, it tends to sort of hit a bit of a climax at this point. Este, ya, y una cosa grande, ya sea una cosa grande interna o externa, Es más o menos en este momento cuando va llegando su clínex. Ok, anyway, so um, I do have some stories for you, though. Pero tengo historias para ustedes. Try to give it interest. So I was going to do uh, stories with my Tibetan lamas. Este, historias con mis lamas tibetanos. Ok. Uh, so, remember, I mean, I, I'm 20 years old, I go to India. Recuerden, estoy con 20 años, me voy a la India. Uh, I meet Lama Yeshi, I'm, you know, a, a, in, in January of 1971. Eh, conozco a Lama Yeshi en enero de 1971. Uh, and I go to Nepal with him, and then by August he's taking me back to Dharamsala. Me voy a Nepal con él y ya para agosto me está regresando a Dharamsala. And that's in India, and that's where I then stay for pretty much the whole of my 14 years in India. Y ahí es donde me quedé casi todo el tiempo entre mis 14 años en la India. Okay, and then in uh, September I turned 21. En septiembre me cumplí 21. Okay, anyway, so um, uh, initially, I mean, I was, I was studying with a a lama called Geshe Ngawan Darge. He was a, it was a, well, it was a, a yogi and a scholar. Eh, al principio estaba yo trabajando, estudiando con un Geshe Darge. Darge, este, que era un escolástico y un yogi. Okay. Uh, and I got a lot of my, in fact, I would say most of my teachings came from him over the, the next eight years. Y la mayoría de mis enseñanzas vinieron de él en los siguientes Este, años. Okay. So um, anyway, but uh, so in, in that time that I, I met with, uh, well, I, I was introduced to Lingram Pochi, who then became my sort of like my my main guru for uh, like the father of all my teachers. Este, y luego me, me presentaron a Lingram Pochi, que se convirtió en mi principal guru, que es como el líder, el padre de todos mis maestros. Okay. So, uh, so just sort of one funny thing that happened. This is his stories, yeah. Este, una cosa chistosa que pasó. So, so uh, Geshe Darge was a you know Tibetan Lama from Kham. He was quite a gruff little guy. Este, Geshe Darge era un este tibetano de Kham. Kham. Este, un un señor este bien ponchadito. Anyway, and his his, <laughs> his his dialect was quite thick. Y tenía un dialecto bastante burdo. Uh, and so even the Dalai Lama needed a translator for him. <laughs> Incluso el Dalai Lama necesitaba un traductor para con él. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I, I think he got a little proud that he had some Western students, yeah? Y creo que estaba como orgulloso de tener algunos estudiantes occidentales. So uh, one, one time his, uh, we all lived at the, what's called the Tibetan Library where we were studying. Todos vivíamos en lo que se conoce como la librería, la biblioteca tibetana. Ahí estábamos estudiando. And so, uh, Geshe Darge's attendant got a little ill. El, el asistente de Geshe Darge se enfermó. And so he said, Jumpa, you have to be my attendant. Y entonces me dijo a mí, Jumpa, tienes que ser ahora tú el, el que lo, lo ayude. Anyway, and so some, uh, some fairly high profile Tibetans showed up. Because remember, they had sort of like an hour or a toss. Like nobility. Uh -huh. So some of these people showed up to, to meet with Geshe Darge. So he was oh, yes, look, I have a Western student. <laughs> okay. So he said, uh, so John, make some tea. 
Entonces me dijo, Jamba, ve a hacer el té. So I, I went in the kitchen. I'm not familiar with this kitchen. So I, you know, I got the water boiling and I, I put the tea in and everything. And I'm looking for, like, because I'm going to make sweet tea for them. So sugar with milk. Este, yo no conocía muy bien la, la cocina, entonces pues ahí voy, me pongo a hervir el agua, pongo las cosas para el té. Estaba tratando de hacer un té dulce, pero este, para ponerle un poco de azúcar y leche. Ok, but they don't, they didn't have liquid milk, so they had milk powder. No tenían leche eh, líquida, tenían leche en polvo. So, and, and they had a little sort of like a... a... Well, it's a, a little plunger thing that you pour the tea in, you put the sugar, the milk in, and you, and you sort of mix it up, and then you pour it in this, pour it well into a what you serve it in. Este, y tenían un, un, una cosa donde va, donde bates la mezcla, entonces pones la leche, el agua, el té, el azúcar, y lo, lo, lo mueves así con una bombita y se mezcla todo y entonces ya lo sirves. So anyway, I'm looking through all of his containers. Oh, there's one that's got white powder in it, so I put that in. You know, mix it all up, you know, <laughs> put it in. We go in. <laughs> anyway, and, and then, um, so when you serve, of course, and you, 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 because you, I'm a monk, I've got Robes, yeah. Este, entonces encontré uno, le puse la, la cosita blanca, lo mezclé, lo serví so, y este, estaba yo con mi hábito, porque como monje tienes un hábito que. So, so you take part of your robe and you. You, you, you put it in your mouth so you're not breathing on it, you know, so I'm doing this and I, I, I go up and then I, I pour the Geshe now and Dargi, but he doesn't like sweet tea, so he's got diabetes. Este, entonces estoy yo así con mi, con mi hábito amarrado para no respirar en él y, y le sirvo el té, él no toma té dulce. So then, I, so then I, I turn to these, you know, very aristocratic sort of Tibetans sitting there, you know, and pour them all their tea in fancy little cups. <laughs> you know, and so they, they sip a little bit and they put their glass down. <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm waiting there, you know. And then he's saying, you know, in Tibetan it'd be like, eat, you know, have something that goes, chua, chua. But see, see, you know, they're, they're all being very polite, but they're not drinking. <laughs> And it's so funny they had their little interview and then they left, but none, nobody drank their tea. <laughs> anyway, so I looked at what it was, it was this white flower I, I'd done. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so uh, for all of the, the show for Geshe Darge, that was big, you know, it was a big failure. <laughs> How we figured out, though, so we looked at the tea and all the white flour had settled to the bottom of the cup, so it's like, okay. <laughs> So I, I never served Geshe Dargi again. So. <laughs> anyway, then at a later date, I guess it's about 1973. Uh, I, I by then received some uh, high initiations. Para entonces ya me habían eh, dado algunas iniciaciones de Tata Tantra. And, and so then uh, Lam, Lama Yeshi and Lama Zopa were going to do a little retreat. Y Lama Yeshi y Lama Zopa iban a hacer un pequeño retiro. And now th this is all in Dharamsala. Todo esto en Dharamsala. And so uh, I, I think, I, I guess I was involved in the initiation. It was, a, it was for a Dharma protector. Este, creo que yo estaba involucrado en la iniciación, era para un protector del Dharma. Okay, which is like you have the main deity and then, then there's a protector. So in, anyway, there's lots of stories. So, este, que es eh, un protector, tienes una deidad principal y hay varios protectores. Anyway, so, uh, so uh, I, I was in Tushita, where this is where Lama Yeshi and Lama Zopa were staying. I was sort of living there too. Este, estaba en Tushita, donde también Lama Yeshi y Lama Zopa se estaban quedando, ahí estaba viviendo yo. So they sat up on some a higher set of seats, uh, you know, cross-legged, and I was on the floor. Sort of like, like if Lama Yeshi and Lama Zopa and I was, you and me. Este, yo, ellos estaban sentados en, en asientos altos, ¿no? Con sus piernas cruzadas y yo estaba en una parte más baja, como aquí. Anyway, and so, so we're, doing, we're doing our mantras and meditation, you know. Entonces estamos ahí haciendo nuestros mantras y nuestras meditaciones. And, and you know, Lama Yeshua is quite flexible. I mean, like, like, like we're, we're more relaxed. 
Yo, la mayoría era muy fértil, así como más relajado. Entonces estaba la mayoría, la masopa y estaba yo. So in, in one moment then, la masopa. En un momento la masopa. Sort of like we're, we're just all about doing our prayers, yeah. Estamos haciendo nuestras oraciones. Yeah, and then all of a sudden la masopa. It's, it's really straight. Y entonces la masopa de repente se pone muy derecho. And then he he, he takes it like. He takes a, a, a little a little thing of uh, uh, it's called inner offerings, like holy water. Este toma su inner offering, su como agua bendita. Okay, and he holds it like that. Y lo pone. And then and then he takes it up and goes. <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's touching the water in his forehead. Está está tocando y está tocando con su frente. You know, so I'm sitting there. <laughs> Even Lama Yeshu was sort of like, what's, what's my, because Lama Yeshu was always a student, yeah, so what's my student doing, you know? <laughs> anyway, so that went on for a few minutes, and then Lama Zopa seemed to calm down, so. <laughs> so, and I mean, I, I would assume he was having some sort of visionary experience and, and receiving uh, a blessing. And, and actually, there's some very powerful lamas in India. Uh, especially the Dalai Lama's two teachers, uh, Tri Chiran Poche and Ling Rinpoche. And uh, Ling Rinpoche was my teacher. Ling Rinpoche era mi maestro. But, and also Tri Chiran Poche. But Lama Zopa and Lama Yeshi went to see Tri Chiran Poche. Este, Lama también fue a and they had sort of a, a private uh, you know, audience with him. And then when they came home in the afternoon, y a casa en la tarde, uh, you know, it, obviously they had been quite special for them. I don't know what. Este, obviamente algo pasó muy especial para ellos, yo so, no sé qué. In the, in the latter part of the afternoon, I, I went to serve Lama Zopa some tea. En la, part, en la tarde, este, fui a llevarle té a Lama Zopa. You know, well made this time, yeah. Pero ahora, ahora bien, un buen té. Okay, <laughs> but and, and he, was, he was on his meditation seat. Él estaba en su asiento de meditación. And he was in the fatal position. Y estaba en una posición fetal. But it, it, his whole body was like radiating. Pero todo, like, todo su cuerpo estaba así como radiando. Like, I mean, I obviously, Trichur and Boche blessed him somehow, like, really powerfully, because, I mean, he completely curled up into a little ball and was just lying there. I mean, the eyes shut and things, but, like, you could feel this incredible energy coming off of him. Trichur and Boche debió haberle hecho algo especial, porque estaba ahí hecho bolita en posición fetal, con sus ojos cerrados y demás, pero podía sentir como esa vibración y como, como extendía algo que, que, que había pasado. Anyway, and I mean, we all know Lamas of the West very incredible, so just, it was like, I mean, like I would have been 22 or 23, Lamas of was only 25 years old, so really young. Este, eh, todos sabemos que, que Lamas of era muy especial, yo tenía 22 o 23 y él tendría 25, Any... muy joven. Okay, so anyway, so you know, and then anyway, so so then a, a later date, I think about 1976, I got really, I got quite sick. I was just very skinny. Este, en el 76 me enfermé bastante, pues estaba yo muy flaco. Okay, and so Lama Yeshi said, well, I have a Dharma center in Australia. You should go there for some time and recover your health. Este, entonces Lama Yeshi me dijo, ay, tengo un centro de Dharma en Australia. Ven para allá para ver si puedes recuperar un poco tu salud. And, uh, and my brother lived in Australia at that time, one of my brothers. Y uno de mis hermanos en esa época vivía en Australia. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I managed to arrange the money and arrived in Australia. Logré juntar el dinero para llegar a ir a Australia. And then um, uh, there was a big, a big retreat with Lama Zopa and Lama Yeshi. Okay, and so there may be 150 Australians showed up. And so uh, one of the mothers brought her son. Una de las mamás llevó a su hijo. And he, he was a great big Austrian guy, like as big as Jonas, yeah? Este, uno, un muchacho grandote, así como Jonas. But he had some 
mental problems. I'm not quite sure whether schizophrenia or something, but he was mentally unstable. Este tenía algunos problemas mentales, no sé si es esquizofrenia o qué, pero era una inestabilidad. Anyway, and because this, this is Australia in the country, so it's really rural and rustic and stuff, and we didn't really have bath, bath, bathrooms or anything, so, okay. Este, esto era en el, en, en el campo, en Australia, realmente muy rural, o sea, el, el paisaje también muy rústico, no había ni siquiera baños. Anyway, so that the, uh, we had a, a bathing area down the hill below the monastery with sort of trees and things around it, so it was a little bit private. Teníamos una zona de duchas un poquito abajo de la colina eh, que estaba más o menos cubierto por árboles para hacerlo un poquito privado. So one day women could go down and they could undress and bathe themselves, you know, there'd be these, these series of shower units, you know, this is the country, yeah, and, and stuff like that. En, eh, había un día en que las mujeres bajaban y podían darse una ducha, no había varias duchas y pues estaba cubierto por ahí. Anyway, he was caught peeking at them all. Este, eh, lo descubrieron ahí echando ojo. Okay, so they said, well, you know, we have to do something about this. This isn't good. Y entonces dijeron, tenemos que hacer algo al respecto. Esto no está bien. So Lama, Lama Yeshi said, oh, I'll take care of this. Just send them up to my, my room. Eh, y la Yeshi dijo, yo, yo me encargo de esto. Mándenlo, mándenmelo al cuarto. So, so, I mean, there, there, we were, like, so there's this big hill. Entonces estaba esta gran colina. So down at this this part here is where the, the women were bathing, but uh, you know, but with, with forest. Este de este lado derecho es donde las mujeres estaban bañando ahí en el bosque. Then about halfway up there was the big big temple, which would be big about as big as this. It had 150 people in it. Este y luego arriba había un templo grande como como tan grande como este podía aguantar 150 personas. And then further up, about no oh, good 100 meters, was the house of Lamayeshi. So it was all on a big grade hill like. Y luego más hacia arriba estaba la casa como a 100 metros estaba también la casa de la mayesh, o sea, bastante más alto de la en la colina. So so Lama said bring the guy up to my house so and they said John, you come with me. Este y me, le dijeron tráiganme a ese muchacho aquí a mi casa y champa, tú vienes conmigo. Okay, now the guy's bigger than Jonas. He was like Australian big big guy, yeah. Este es más grande que Jonas. Era un australiano ponchadón. And I don't know, bipolar. No, no, he was, I think, schizophrenic. I mean, he was, anyway, he was mentally ill, okay? So, uh, so, Lama calls me, so the guy comes into Lama Yeshi's, you know, room. Este chavo llega al cuarto de Lama Yeshi. So, so, like, 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 it was Nayeli. Era como conmigo. And then I, I'm sitting back where, where she is. Y yo estoy como sentado atrás donde está alguien atrás. And, and now Lama Yeshi is going to do a Tibetan ritual of purification on this guy. Este, Lama Yeshi hizo un ritual tibetano de purificación en este muchacho. So I says, this, John, just wait a minute, I have to go get something. Y, y me dice, ya empezarme ahí tantito, necesito ir por algo. So he goes out and he comes back with this, with this, a bunch of celery. Este, y se va y regresa con un gran este, bunch de, de apio. Apio. But in Australia, it goes big. So this is like, I mean, it was about this long and it was a big bundle of it. Yeah. Este, era un apio australiano, o sea, grandó, bien bolote. Anyway, and so, I mean, here, I mean, they can't see online too much. But anyway, so Lama comes in and he's got, he's got this thing. And so, and this is his purification ritual, yeah? <laughs> so he says, it's not you. It's your stupid mind. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> it's not you. It's your stupid mind. <laughs> Lama has a bad heart, okay? But so it's not you. It's your stupid mind. So he hits it at least six or seven times. Yeah. And then Lava's standing there and he's, he's, he's panting because it's, it's really hard on his heart, right? Lama's standing agitado porque no está bien del corazón, está inaliento. Now you all know celery is very springy, Jeff. Yeah. Anyway, so he's completely destroyed it. Dangling off his hand. 
lo de And so uh, you understand? <laughs> and and then this I'm here is this guy like a big Aussie guy and he says, you hit me. <laughs> No, I mean like, like you hit me. <laughs> anyway, so 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 he starts up and is coming at Lamayeshi. I'm behind, and I'm thinking, oh shit. <laughs> Anyway, so all I can do is I, I jump on his back, and I mean he's big, so I jump on his back. And I spin him. And Lama Yeshi runs out of the room and pulls the door shut and locks it. Anyway, so and so the, of course the, the guy can't get at Lama, and then he turns around at me and and I mean, I'm not, I'm six foot, but still. So he turned around to me like this, you know. <laughs> no, behind us was a set of patio doors and a little, little deck, a little veranda. Anyway, and so he's it's like, and I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do? And he goes, bam. And he's, he's punching me on the head, you know, because I put my head down with bang, bang like that, you know. Y entonces, él en la cabeza. And I, 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 so he hits me like three times. Like, I don't need this, you know. I mean, <laughs> so I push him back and I, I get this patio door open and I jump off of the little deck onto this, this hill that's going down. Yeah. Anyway, but he's right behind me. He's coming out. <laughs> so so I, I run up onto the like so you have to think of like it's the house is way up here. There is a deck that looked down on the meditation hall and things, but it's a good hundred meters between the two. Yeah. So I run up, I'm on the deck and I'm trying to can try to get in the door and shut them up behind me, but it's all these patio glass doors. Yeah. And so in, in the kitchen, there was a nun there who was chopping vegetables. Yeah. And Lama Yeshi has locked himself in the bathroom. <laughs> so I get halfway in the sliding door, and this guy takes me against the wall, or against the door. So he's beating me on the back. <laughs> and I'm sitting there staring at us being beaten and chopping the vegetables. <laughs> Anyway, and so then I, I realized, okay, I, this is this, there's nothing I can do here. So I I push back and show the door, and then we're struggling at the at the edge of the of this balcony that goes down. So I, I, I said, well, I'm going to jump off them. I mean, this guy's beating me up. <laughs> so so I, I, I jump off. It wasn't a big fall, maybe like, you know, three, two meters or so. And I mean, he follows me. <laughs> but at this moment, Lama Zopa and a group of Westerners come out of the temple, which is down the hill. And so they see, see him and me fall off the deck, and then I start running zigzag down the hill, just so tell him stop chasing me. <laughs> No, I don't know if I was you know, yelling anything, but anyway, they figured out, oh, he's in trouble, yeah. So they, these other Australian guys came running up and tackled him and <laughs> and 
that Lamazova, later Lamazova said, oh, it's like watching a Western movie being chased. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they actually had to tie him up. He was, he was you know, because he was, he was, he was quite violent. <laughs> anyway, and so then finally, Lama Yeshi comes out, you know, and I, I'm, I'm, I come up the hill, you know. <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking, oh, I protected you, you know, I was a bodhisattva. <laughs> <laughs> and Lama looks at me, he says, why didn't you fight back? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I had big black, big black, black balls and everything. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I must have purified a lot of bad guru karma there. <laughs> anyway, so that was one experience that was sort of fun with Lama Yeshi. So, did you regain your health? Oh, yeah, I, I, I did. I went back to Australia. I went back to India after that. I was enough of Australia. <laughs> Oh, he was hospitalized. He was he was mentally ill. Actually, the police came and they had to they had to restrain him and stuff. So it was yeah, it was sort of sad. Este, de hecho, hasta la policía tuvo que llegar y lo tuvieron que, que inmovilizar. But I mean, the, the, the situation was that, you know, parents who had children and had mental problems, they were hopeful that Tibetans would have some magical cure. So that was the problem. El, el problema es que padres que tenían hijos con algún problema mental eh, tenían la esperanza de que los monjes tuvieran algún tipo de cura mágica o algo así. Anyway, so, so the, the you know, it was it was always interesting with Lama Yeshi. Siempre, siempre algo interesante con Lama Yeshi. Okay. Uh, anyway, so that's just some some stories for you. Algunas historias. Well, I have to think about it for a while, but um, well, no, that, that's yeah. Uh, well, uh, actually, you know, we, we, I. The, 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 you, know, you might be familiar that in Buddhism there's this big thing like Guru Yoga. Este, quizá ustedes están familiarizados que en el budismo está el Guru Yoga. Uh, and it's where, you know, I mean, the Guru is an enlightened being and therefore what they do is to help you become more enlightened. En donde el Guru es un ser iluminado y lo que hacen, lo hacen para ayudarte a que tú alcances la iluminación. And, uh, you know, in Tibet, um, some teachers were quite, you know, aggressive with their students to so-called purify them. I mean, you might be familiar with the stories of Milarepa and Marpa. Granted, I mean, Milarepa had killed 34 people, so maybe there's some cause for that. <laughs> yeah, and then he came to Marpa to, be, to help purify that. And, and over 12 years, Marpa was very hard on him, but, you know, not, not in that way, very hard on him. Y durante 12 años, Marpa fue muy duro con él. Anyway, but then Milarepa didn't always have great faith in Marpa, and so he purified and he went off and became, of course, a saint. He, he very realized. Y Milarepa tenía mucha fe en Marpa, entonces ahí se quedó y, este, y, y, y aguantó. Y finalmente alcanzó la iluminación. Es un hombre que se considera como un iluminado muy sagrado. But, I mean, nowadays I don't think that works anymore. Hoy en día yo creo que eso ya no, ya no funciona. Because, you know, in Tibet there was this sort of culture of, of faith and it was very, very devotional. En, en el Tibet estaba esta cultura de fe muy devocional. Whereas, for example, I mean, if, if you know, I'm so-called a, a Vajra teacher. Y yo, por ejemplo, que soy, con, podría ser como un eh, teacher Vajra, un maestro Vajra. And I think, you know, if I was, uh, you know, a bit hard on a student, they just leave because they don't have faith. You know, so I'd much better just to be full of love and compassion and be a nice teacher. You know, I mean, that, that, that's, 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 I think that suits the time now. 
Creo que eso se ajusta más a estos tiempos. In any way, I mean, to be uh, in the Tibetan culture, there, there, there definitely was, uh, you know, like say, uh, disciplining somebody was, was part of the culture. Este, y en la cultura tibetana, esta, esta disciplinar a alguien era parte de la cultura. You know, especially in the monasteries with, you know, a whole, a whole you know, 40, 50, 60 young monks, they would be, they would be, you know, just like here, they would be, uh, they would be bad. Este, y, y en los monasterios con 40, 50, 60 monjes, muchachos, pues sí, eh, algunos eh, eran difíciles o malos. So it was traditional that they'd have a, uh, that they would call the disciplinarian would have a big mala, like, I mean, a, a big with big beads on it. And uh, the, he, would, he would beat the monk, younger monks with that. I mean, you know, not, not like whipping them, but just to, just to get, it was discipline, yeah. So that was part of this part of Tibetan culture. So that, that's why I think Lama Yeshi thought maybe his technique was, was skillful. <laughs> Eh, era, era parte de la cultura tibetana, quizá por eso la Mayeshe pensó que su técnica era, fue a mí. Okay. Anyway, I would say no, it's not. <laughs> okay. No, digo que no, que no. Okay. So, anyway, um, uh, if there's any questions, but then we'll, we'll return to our meditations. Hay preguntas, vamos a regresar a nuestras meditaciones. Yes, Rosie. Estoy entendiendo el trabajo de esta mañana como un proceso. Eh, bueno, todo lo digo, pero específicamente el trabajo de esta mañana como un proceso. I am understanding the work that we are doing from this morning like a process. En el que desde el entendimiento de la interdependencia como una vivencia me permite y valorándolo y va apreciándolo, apreciando esa interdependencia, me permite abrir el corazón para generar la compasión. La compasión, la compasión. So, from where the understanding, the experience and the living understanding of the interdependence, eh, I can, de, de la interdependencia, Puedo abrir mi corazón. Abrir mi corazón a la compasión. I can open my heart to compassion. Um, that, that's a possibility, yes. Sí, esa es una posibilidad. No, uh, the, the, um, the point is, like, we're working off wisdom understandings. Estamos trabajando en entendimientos de sabiduría. Okay, so when you, if you have a more and more strong feeling for just that you, you are interdependent, you know, dynamic, you know, things can change. Si tienes un, un sentimiento más y más claro de que, eh, de que hay impermanencia, interdependencia, este... I can change. Y las cosas pueden cambiar. Okay. Uh, the, on the basis of really appreciating that on your body and, and the atmosphere. En, en, la, en, en la base de entender esto en tu propio cuerpo y en la atmósfera. Okay, with the clarity of that, con, con la claridad de eso, you then can apply that to some emotional issues. Eso, entonces, lo puedes aplicar a algunos asuntos emocionales. So, I mean, especially if it's a trauma. Especialmente si es un trauma. But even if it's just a really hard situation, like maybe you were divorced really badly or, or abused in some way. Pero también si es una situación como, como si fuiste abusada o, o a un divorcio o algo así. You know, I mean, we tend to make, oh, that's like such a hard thing. And how do I fix that? You know, we are, our mind is it's like, oh, it's, it's impenetrable. It's like a rock. Este, porque solemos pensar es que eso fue algo tan terrible que pasó. ¿Cómo voy a lidiar con ello? Porque nuestra mente tiende a pensar que es así como impenetrable a ciertas cosas, como una piedra. So hard to deal with. Es, esto, este asunto es tan difícil de lidiar. So, con if you've been able to mix your breathing and I'm interdependent and have this sense of that really things are open, things can be changed. Pero si estás respirando y dándote cuenta que las cosas son interdependen, interdependientes y entonces este, realmente están abiertas, abiertas al cambio. Okay, so then you can apply that to, so for example, let's say you have a very, a very hard emotion of some sort, maybe, whatever, 
Eh, entonces, esto lo puedes aplicar si tienes una emoción muy fuerte de algo. Ok. Then, then you, you take the, the appreciation, the experience, maybe of, of the, like I'm completely interdependent. Tomas la, la experiencia de, de, estar, de ser totalmente interdependiente. And you, we could say you apply it to that emotion which feels so rigid. Y la aplicas a esa emoción que la percibes como muy rígida. You know, and it's just saying, even though it feels so hard, it can be changed. Y a pesar de que se siente tan rígida, tan dura, puede ser cambiada. You know, you could do that with impermanence. Puedes hacer eso con la impermanencia. You could do that with, I'm going to put new, create new karma with this, this hurtful emotion. Podrías decir, voy a poner una nueva un nuevo karma con esta emoción que duele tanto. But you know to really think that this 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 emotional trauma or whatever it may be. Y pensar que esta el trauma emocional o lo que sea. It really is completely open. It is completely interdependent. Es en realidad está completamente abierto. Es completamente interdependiente. You know, just it's just my dislike or, or unhappiness with that that makes it so rigid. Es solamente mi, mi este, infelicidad con, con eso, mi dolor de eso, es lo que lo está haciendo aparentar rígido. Ok, so, so that, you know, with your breathing. Entonces, con tu respiración. You know, and the sensations that you might have been able to generate off of I am completely open and interdependent. Y las sensaciones que has podido generar de que estoy completamente abierto e interdependiente. You know, and, the, and the wish in your heart that you know, may I purify this or may I heal this. Y el deseo en tu corazón que pueda yo purificar esto o que pueda yo sanar esto. Okay, then you, 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 you apply that to the pain, the trauma, whatever it might have been. Eh, lo aplicas entonces a, a ese dolor, a ese trauma, cualquier cosa que sea. The, the most important point of it el, el punto más importante is that no matter what the emotional trauma or emotional pain is, es que no importa cuál es el trauma emocional o el dolor que tengas, it, it is, you know, if it can be affected, it can be changed. It, it, is, it is not a closed system. Puede ser afectado, puede cambiar, no es un sistema cerrado. Okay, so, okay. so it, it, we're, that's what we're working towards. Es, es hacia allá hacia donde estamos trabajando, hacia donde vamos. Yeah. yeah, yes. Bueno, um, a mí me gustaría expresar un poquito desde mi experiencia. Sí. Eh, a, a, hace un momento que me luchaba, eh, pensaba en un poco de lo que tú nos has comentado de dar, de disfrutar todo. Eh, para mí, meditación, uh, hoy específicamente, al caminar se, sentí esa meditación en todo lo que hago, pero que esta parte de aquietarme y respirar y tener mi mente un poco así tranquila me permite darme cuenta de todo lo que tenemos, de todo lo que podemos agradecer. Bueno, yo me siento muy, 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 muy alegre, muy, muy muy agradecida por todo esto. Recording, recording. Hey, attend the trend doctor. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I just want to share that um, what you've been teaching us and everything today as I was taking a shower, uh, I was considering all the teachings that you have been giving us and uh, the appreciation of the space and everything. And, and, and really, this has changed me. The, the understanding I have in meditation now as I walk and, and appreciate it, really an appreciation of everything that we have. Sí, um, um, ayer tuve que salir a la farmacia y eh, me subo al autobús eh, y va personas eh, a sus trabajos, me imagino. Entonces, para mí, mi meditación. En este momento, en este presente, yo como que me enfoco más en, en el ahora. Ya lo, las experiencias pasadas, pues yo las dejo atrás. Y, y para mí esto es meditación, ¿no? Entonces, pues yo me siento agradecida por eso. Yo no sé si estoy meditando, si esto sea meditar o no, pero 
Bueno, yo no llego a mi vida, ¿no? En el día a día. Y tratando de estar más en el... Eh, 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 es darme cuenta, es ser consciente de cada, cada, cada movimiento de mí, de lo que hago, de lo que pienso. So I think this is this is like for me meditation. Yesterday I had to go to the pharmacy to something and going into the bus and looking at the people. And and actually this is like like for me this is the becoming the practice to be in here, to be in present, to appreciate, to to see. Ah, <coughs> Ah, tengo así como un co no, no como me conquistó, sin embargo, ah, yo las experiencias que he tenido, ajá, eh, pienso que hay dos formas de aprender desde la experiencia y desde el conocimiento. Eh, I, uh, I have uh, wondering, I, from the experience that I have, I think we learn from those two things from the from experience and from knowledge. Pero uh, esas experiencias me han me han permitido continuar y en algún momento yo lo comparto esto con mi hija y es que las personas no sé eh, 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 se dicen mucho de que no es que tienes que vivirlo para, para aprender eso es esto yo es como que no y es muy presentado. No, no te entendí, pero, pero bueno, a ver si. Okay. Este, so, I tell my, my daughter that this is, like people say, you have to, you have to learn, you have to understand this and experience this, but, but I don't see how this, no sé si te entendí bien. Que necesitas experimentar para aprender. Ay, gracias. You don't need to, to have the experience in, to be able to, to, to learn. Okay. No. Okay. Sí, no. Sí, sí, sí. Eso fue lo que. Que no, sí. 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 Yeah, um, to, to answer you. Para darte una respuesta. Our meditation is only a tool. La meditación es solo una herramienta. It's no more than that. No es más que eso. I mean, we, we do, we practice meditation to be what you just said, more present in the situations we're in. Este, practicamos meditación para hacer justo lo que dices, estar presentes en las situaciones en donde nos encontramos. So you've been training your mind for the last five, six days. Has estado pues entrenando tu mente para en los últimos cinco, seis días. Okay, so I mean, I'm assuming a little bit you've had some experience. Entonces estoy suponiendo que has tenido algo, alguna experiencia. But all, all I really want is that your mind is sharper, clearer, more present. Pero realmente lo que quiero es que tu mente esté más aguda, más clara y más presente. Okay, and then, then you know, I mean, being a nice person when you're going to talk such is perfect. That's great. Yes. Y, y ser una buena persona y, y este, mientras estás en el camión y esas cosas, sí, está perfecto, muy bien. But, you know, on occasion when you have more difficult times, you could return to your meditation and maybe clarify your mind. Eh, y en ocasiones cuando te presentes con alguna situación más difícil, entonces puedas regresar a tu meditación y este a, a aclarar tu mente. Okay, so so it's just a tool. It's not like this is our life. We want to always be meditating. Eh, es una herramienta. No es como que esto es nuestra vida y siempre vamos a estar meditando. Now, if you want to experience God or something really profound. Pero si quieres experimentar Dios o algo muy profundo. Then you have to meditate a lot. <laughs> entonces tienes que meditar mucho. But it's not a necessity. Pero no es una necesidad. You know, so, so if meditation is a tool. Entonces la meditación es una herramienta. Okay, and when you leave here, you may find that, oh, I have a better ability to deal with my daughter. Oh. Entonces cuando salgas de aquí, quizá digas, oh, yo tengo una mejor capacidad de lidiar con mi hija. Or you can understand her more. O quizá puedas entenderla más. Because you've slowed down, you understand yourself more, you can understand others more. Porque tú te alentaste y te entendiste a ti misma más, puedes quizá entender a otros más. Anyway, so main point is, it's a tool to become more aware, more uh, nice, nice person. Entonces es una herramienta para estar más consciente, más presente y ser una mejor persona.
One palomita, muy bien. Okay, so meditamos, so to take a comfortable posture. Tomamos una postura cómoda. You're familiar with the process. Ya están familiarizados con el proceso. Uh, if you'd like to do the nine rounds of breathing. Si quieren hacer las nueve rondas de meditación. Body is comfortable. Tu cuerpo está cómodo. I have a good motivation. Tengo una buena motivación. I'd like to be more confident and positive in my life. Quiero ser más, estar más confiado y más positivo en mi vida. Okay, so then we shift our attention to our breathing. Luego cambiamos nuestra atención a la respiración. And for this session, I, I allow you to, you know, reflect on all the different things that we've done over six days. En esta sesión te permito que reflexiones en las cosas que hemos hecho estos últimos seis días. Or just sit there and be comfortable, happy. O solamente siéntate ahí, estar cómodo y feliz.
Bring your awareness to your breathing. Trae tu atención a tu respiración. And close your meditation with some positive thoughts or feelings. Cierra tu meditación con pensamientos y sentimientos positivos. Six days we've been meditating. Tres días hemos estado meditando. That's for some purpose, some reason. Esto tiene un cierto propósito, una cierta razón. Central reason is that may I be a better person, more capable. El, la razón principal es que pueda yo ser una mejor persona, más capaz. Both with myself and with the people in my life. Tanto conmigo como con las personas en mi vida. Okay, so congratulations. Hey, you almost got to the end of day six. Woo! Felicidades, ya casi están llegando al final del día seis. So still today and tomorrow are very potentially powerful days. Hoy y mañana siguen siendo potencialmente días muy poderosos. So you might want to turn your mind to some deeper issues or deeper important things in your life. Quizá quieras llevar tu mente a temas este, profundos, temas que son importantes para ti en tu vida. Uh, to, uh, the next session, I'll talk about how to how to work with your dreams. En la siguiente sesión hablaré sobre cómo trabajar con los sueños. Okay, yeah. so enjoy your coffee break. This fruit is to cafe. Disfrute su café.